Look, it was very impressive and so nice to hear your uh, singing. Uh, would you tell some words about your background and how did you start? Wow. First of all, I want to say thank you and it means a lot to me what you're saying because I sang in Dutch and in French. I don't know if you understand these languages a little bit. So, you know, it means that music is, is universal and also the band, they did a great job. I've been singing for a long time. I went into music through one of my sisters sisters who um, had a hit in 89, like, I don't know if you remember Technotronic, Pump, but the Jam, Pump it up. That's one of my sisters and she kind of introduced me into the world of, of, of professional music making. And I've been doing it for, for a little while now. I have uh, my fifth album which is out, but I don't have it here with me so we'll have to have another appointment. <laughs> it's called The Journey. and. Yeah, since, since not too long I started to change as an artist because I've been doing it so long but it was something that was fun but also a job and now it's really, I do it from the heart for the heart. So I'm happy that I reached out and I got your heart from my heart. So. Great. <laughs> yes, it, it, it was amazing. It was very nice. Uh, so positive. The, I think that music change people's minds thank you minds in the positive way thank you thank you so much music is so powerful it's one of the most powerful things because everything is energy everything is vibration and you can make or break a person or a community also with sound and with music and um, I've always been in love with it but the past couple of years and I thought it was me I was kind of sad because I thought a lot of the mainstream music and I was a mainstream artist here as well a lot of the mainstream music isn't really about unification about uniting people and um, yeah so that was one of the things that that got me thinking and, and it's something so powerful use it for some for the positive there's enough negativity in the world and I've added enough to that I don't want to contribute to that anymore I really believe in changing everything to the positive and we need it. So an evening like tonight even is, is the proof of that, that we can do it and that there are still people in the world who live from the heart and who use their brain in function of the heart and not vice versa or not, you know, most people nowadays leave the heart at home because there's no time, time is money and, and we're never going to make it if that's the way we continue to Always live. busy. Mm -hmm. Always busy and running around things that, you know, at the end of our lives, we're not taking it with us. I was very sick a couple of years ago. I had malaria, cerebral malaria, and I really looked at death in the eyes. And a lot of things changed for me at that point. Maybe there's a before <laughs> and an after. And yeah, in those last moments, you're not thinking about your bank account or you're not thinking about your house or you're not th you're thinking about the people and, and, and your soul and your what kind of a person was I or oh no I wish please I want to stay a little bit longer and I'll do it like that and like that <laughs> those were my my last thoughts and I'm so grateful that they weren't my last and that I'm still here so I really dedicate every second of every moment every day to, to elevate myself and to share that with other people and share your energy, yes. your positive attitude, your m mood. Yes, that's the only thing we really have to give. It's our hearts, ourselves. And it's, it's, it's contagious. Other people share their heart with me and thank you so much. And you can only pass it forward. Stay so, instead of paying it back, pass it forward. So, so you're like a healer. I guess we all are, but um, yes, I'm waking up and Music has been the tool of shamans and of great healers. You can do a lot of things with sound and colors and shapes and there's so much, so much to learn, so much to know about and we have it, we can do it. It is a great mission that you have. And there were a lot of old people here mm. on the concert at, and I think uh, it, it was so useful for them 
to take a little bit energy from you. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a lot oh, okay. of energy to share and I will share it with love, pleasure and a big smile and I'm happy to see you know different groups getting together different before when I was still in the industry and, and signed to a record company and stuff you're like okay my audience I want them to be young and this and that. but I just we need we all need to connect young old black white from Russia or Africa hey <laughs> we all live in the same area so I, I love I love this 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 these strange connections and before I used to yeah, hide from certain things, but like I said, if you have the energy, it's your mission to share it. Because if you keep it inside, you're going to explode anyway. <laughs> yes, and I think that in Belgium, in Antwerp, you are a pearl because you are so open and uh, uh, a lot of people are so close here exactly. and cold. That you are so warm and hot <laughs> sometimes, <know. laughs> I guess. <laughs> you know, I came, I, I was born in Africa. My mom's from Antwerp and my dad's from Congo, Central Africa. I was born there and we moved here when I was almost seven. And it was a shock because it's totally different. Africa is open and also, but you know, the sun and, and life is more outside. And then coming here, it's colder and life's inside and people. And back in the days, that was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was a while ago in the 80s. <laughs> it was it was painful sometimes. And but what I've learned over the years is that uh, you know we stay closed sometimes out of fear and out of I see that a lot. I saw that growing up a lot in school and with adults later on in my job. Like, oh, what is that person going to think? Of? You know, let's let's all just shh, 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 and, we're not gonna bother anybody, nobody will bother us. People are so afraid, but afraid of what? Of being judged? But if you are truly yourself, let people judge because it doesn't say anything about you, it says something about those who judge. You are yourself, this is me, this is my hair, my oh, yeah, okay, but this is it, <laughs> you know? And once you understand that and you drop the fear, and, and I see a lot of people that, that, that you just have to scratch a little bit and, and then you see the cracks open up and, and inside there's a, a warm and loving and kind person but a fearful one. And yes, as long as I'm around, I'll get you out. <laughs> open up, open up, it's gonna be so much easier. And choose love instead fear. Thank you. Because fear is actually thinking that there is no love, but there is always love if you love yourself. If you learn to love and accept yourself for who and what you are, you, life is always changing, you are always changing and evolving. At the same time, your core remains the same. So it's all good. It's all good. Where can we see you next time? Ah, okay. Where is your concert will be? So, I... <laughs> um, the next concert will be in Mechelen on the 6th of June and then on the 21st of June in Nelen, the Emilius Hoover. But you can find stuff on the website www.lakeymusic.com and give me your number, your email. I'll Good. send you all the info. Yes, I'm not giving it to YouTube. <laughs> super, super. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. I like your vibe and your aura. Thank you. We're all gonna great. get together, oh, the positive people. Great. And you're gonna great. see the you're gonna see the changes. Oh, it's I great. believe somewhere over the rainbow there's a place for us. I'll take you there. Oh, I'll take you there. Oh, oh, oh in the light out of the shadow, a place for us, I'll take you there. Mm, I'll take you there. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> Why? I was gonna sing some other songs, but yeah, over the rainbow. To me, the rainbow now means your chakras. If you, I don't know if you under, if you know anything about chakras and meditation and energy centers and stuff. And so, according to Hindu mysticism, we have energy centers. 
in our in our body which relate to organs and colors and frequencies so the rainbow is, is our chakras and when you are in balance you can't go you can't go above and beyond that but when you start balancing the colors you can go beyond the rainbow and beyond the rainbow there's a magical word there is because there is pure light. How do you get a rainbow? You take pure light, you take a prism, and it fragments the white light. So color comes from... Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, where do you take uh, the energy? My heart, my soul. I was gonna say God, but to some people it has a weird or negative connotation. Because God is not the God like I was told. It's not a, an old man with a gray beard. There is so much more to life than what meets the eye. There's so much we, we when you get so stressed and over busy and running in the rat race, you start to become like this and you don't see the world for what it is. You don't see the beauty. You don't see the beauty in nature, the beauty in other people. You, you don't see that. And once you start waking up and feeling the energies and cleaning yourself also from from certain thoughts that are low in vibration from certain foods that are low in vibration i'm vegan now for two years and a half uh, from from certain yeah music or whatever people places that so once you let go of, of, of the low low energy you start discovering the world and it's a beautiful place it truly is and you can only get energy from that you can only get energy from that and, and at the same time i see a world in decline you see so many wars pains hardship you know and yet that that energy that i see it's also it gives me so much hope and 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 just fire to say people it's okay it's okay it's okay. <laughs> hold my hand. Hold, I hold yours. Come on. Let's. It's okay. And I've been a tough mama. I come from. I was an MC. I was yo. You know, cool. And, hey, what? 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 <laughs> stop. Stop the little roles you're playing and just be yourself because you're beautiful and that gives you so much energy.